This video is sponsored by IMC Toys. Hi everyone, we are super excited because today we are actually doing a challenge. We have seen so many comments from you guys asking us to do more challenges, so we thought we'd do a really, really neat one today that's actually inspired by Crybaby's Magic Tears. Crybaby's Magic Tears is an animated series that the girls are really into. It's on YouTube and on Amazon Prime Video, and it's all about these cute little babies dressed in animal pajamas and the crazy, funny, hysterical adventures that they go on. Addie and I have also been collecting these Crybaby Magic Tears bottle houses, and I'm gonna show you some of the babies that come in there, and that'll help explain where our challenge is coming from. Here we have Coney in her bunny PJs. This is Leah, and she's in like leopard pajamas, and over here is Hoppy, who's wearing hippopotamus pajamas. Addie and Maya, let's tell them what your favorite characters that you've collected so far. Ooh, my favorite is Candy the Rain. Yes, Candy is the rare one that was super hard to find. She's a little poodle, but she's oh so cute. And Addie, who's your favorite? Lori. Lori, she's like a little parrot, isn't she? Like uh -huh. a parakeet, kind of. And she's wearing her little cute pajamas. So today's Crybaby's Magic Tears Challenge is taking us where? To the zoo! The zoo, that's right. We are going to go to the zoo, and we are going to bring all of our cute little Crybaby's Magic Tears that the girls have been collecting. And our goal is to find a real life animal at the zoo that matches the animal that our little baby friends are dressed up as. So this cutie patootie is Nala, and you can see she's dressed as a tiger. So we would need to try to find a real life tiger at the zoo to pair Nala up with. <laughs> Sound like a fun challenge, girls? Yeah. Now, we're gonna open two more bottle houses right now, so we're hoping to grow our collection just a little bit before we head out, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more details about the challenge after we have all of our Crybaby Magic Tears dolls open and ready to go. So Maya is opening up a turquoise bottle house, and Addie, you have the pink ones, and each pack contains a Crybaby's Magic Tears doll, as well as eight different accessories. And the accessories include a sippy bottle, a personalized blanket, there's a pacifier, a bow, and a chair in each one. Plus there are two surprise accessories that are meant to be personalized for your doll, as well as a sticker sheet so you can decorate their house. And here you can see how Addie used the stickers to decorate Hoppy's house. And girls, if you're super lucky, what might you find inside? A golden pacifier or a golden bow. Exactly. Nemo back here has a golden bow. So I can swap out the regular bow for the rare golden one. And you know what? I actually don't think we have a golden pacifier, girls. Maybe we'll find a golden pacifier in these last two that we're gonna open. Now there are 13 dolls to collect. We already have 12 of them. So I'm, I'm gonna have a feeling we're gonna get one duplicate, but I'm really hoping that one of the girls is gonna open the 13th character that we have not found yet. We have all of these cutie patooties except for Turgui down here. So my fingers are crossed that one of the girls opens Turgui. Who thinks they're gonna get it? Me. You? All right, well, let's find out. Why don't we get those open? Addie, let's see who you have. Who is oh, it? I have Lori. Oh, you got Lori, right. your favorite one. <laughs> awesome. Addie got a duplicate. Let's see if Maya can unbox Turgui and complete our collection. All right, Maya, pressure is on, girl. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> you did get Turgui. Oh. He has a shell. He does have a shell on the back. I love it. Now let's get their eight accessories open and see if we unearth some of the golden rare pacifiers or bows. They're opening the chairs first. I got a purple one. Ooh, different colors, awesome. Love the chairs. So this is Lori's and she's gonna pop open all these doors and windows to find all of her fun accessories. Go ahead, Addie. All right, I'm gonna pop open this one. Whoa, oh, look at cute this. accessory. It's a cute like little thing. Like a mask. I love yeah, it. Yeah, she could like do this. <laughs> and the dolls can actually hold their accessories in their hands, which is pretty cool too. Maya's opening her door. <gasps> I got like a little like a little buggy. How cute. And then see if I got the golden pinky. <laughs> the golden pacifier. Let's see, did you? She's getting it out. I got a purple Ooh, one. Oh, that's a cute one. <laughs> Get that pacifier in. Cute. Now I'm gonna see if I got the golden passy. Let's see what Miss Addie got. 
Oh, Addie got a light pink one. Still Yay. adorable. I found the teddy bear. So this is one of the personalized accessories, a little teddy bear. <gasps> Ooh, here's a bottle. A sippy bottle. The sippy bottles actually have a purpose. You can squeeze water into your baby's mouth and then squeeze their belly and they will actually cry little magic tears. I've got Lala, who's my little mouse PJs in the bottle, and I'm gonna feed her some water and fill that belly up. Okay, Lala, let's see if you'll cry for me. Oh, look at the tear. Oh. Poor baby. And while I was busy showing you Lala, it looks like the girls are making a lot of progress on getting their bottle houses all set up, decorated, and super cute. Press the bunny right there, then. So yours didn't have any of the golden accessories, but I think Addie got something golden, didn't she? What did she get? I think she got fact, I got the golden bow. The golden bow. Oh, that looks so cute on him. Oh my goodness. So I saw Lori came with a mask. What was her other accessory she came with? She came with a little rattle. Oh, I see. That's cute, and it's already in Lori's hands. Let's put you in the stroller. We officially, girls, have all 13 Crybaby Magic Tears now. You collected them all. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it means it's time to talk about our challenge today. We're going to go to the zoo, and we're going to take all 13 dolls with us. Now, I'm thinking we probably won't be able to find matching actual real-life animals for all 13. Because not all zoos have like every type of animal. Yeah. Like I'm thinking, for example, like Lala the mouse. I don't know if the zoo's gonna have a mouse. So I'm gonna say, let's see if we can find eight of the 13. Do you think we can do that? Yeah. And if we can find eight matching real life animals that match eight of our Crybaby's Magic Tears little pajamas that they're wearing, we're gonna get a really cool prize. Mm. Do you wanna see what it is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're gonna love this too. These are the prizes, girls. What do you think? So cool! <laughs> Is this super duper motivation for you girls to find at least eight animals that match our Crybaby's Magic Tears? Yes! Yes, just a little bit. So these are the Crybaby's dolls. Let me introduce you to them real quickly. We've got Fancy, Dreamy, Dottie, Lady and Jenna. And you know what we're working for now, girls. Let's get all of our little Krabby Bees Magic Tears packed up and we're gonna head to the zoo. Yeah. In the basket they go to the zoo with us. And then don't forget about Candy and Lady. All 13 are here and ready for a trip to the zoo. All right, let's go to the zoo. Zoo right now, and we only have two hours until they close. Actually, can you believe that, girl? Yeah, it seems like a lot of time, but if we do the math, that means every 15 minutes we have to find another map a match for one of our crybabies. Think we can do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, we got our map. You have a map, Maya? Yeah, you've got a map, Addie? Yes, okay. So, we're gonna get busy and we're gonna find eight matches for our crybaby magic tears. All right, let's get to it. Okay. barely turned the corner and I think we have a match behind us. We have these birds, they're actually macaws and they are really loud, making a lot of noises. But I think we have a match for Lori. So Addie's got Lori, we're gonna take a picture of her by the macaws. Lori is technically a parrot, I believe. But you know what, I think macaws and parrots are pretty close. We're gonna let this yeah. count, right? Yeah. I think we have a match. One thing we love about the Crybaby's Magic Tears show is that all the characters have really unique personalities. So as we meet each of our characters and find their matches, we're gonna tell you a little bit about each of them. So tell us about Lori. Well, Lori is always dancing and talking about something, and she always likes dancing to Latin music. She sure does. She's a little dancer, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Like that? Is that how you dance to Latin music? Probably not, huh? Probably not. <laughs> and here's Lori's little animal friend, Rita. One down, seven more to go until we get our prize. Yay! Did you go find another match? A turtle. A turtle. A turtle? No way. There is a little turtle on the log right there. Definitely a match. She's wearing her turtle pajama. <laughs> she sure is. Isn't she a cutie pie? We found Lori and Turgui's matches. Now we have a few more to do. Okay, girls, just over this way is the kangaroo kickabout. 
Let's head there. Kangaroo kickabout. Where's Kinga? Right here. Right there. We're gonna go find her match. Some of the things we've learned about Kinga Addy from the episodes are that she's very crafty. Remember that she likes to make sculptures and yes. she's a really good home decorator. Yes. She's probably really good at decorating those bottle houses that the girls decorated. Although you guys did a good job decorating them too. Yes. Let's go in. This is actually my favorite part of the zoo because in here you get to get up close and personal with kangaroos. And I've never been to another zoo that actually lets you do that. Where are the kangaroos, girls? Right here. I think they're all napping right now. I think these kangaroos are hot and tired. Hi there. <laughs> Kinga, I think you've got a buddy over there. <laughs> Here's another one, really close on the path. Say hi, look at the big tail they have. Look at its big tail. Oh. <laughs> Another fun fact about Kinga is that she is not a very good dancer. She is as cute as can be, but she does not have any rhythm. <laughs> they kind of look like Kangi, who is Kinga's real little kangaroo pal. The kangaroos are pretty cool. Time for a quick recap. Girls, which ones have we found matches for so far? Kinga. Okay, so Kinga. Turkey. Turkey. And who else? Lori. And Lori. So we found three, which means how many more do we need to find? Five. Five. Five more. And you know what? I think I see a sign just over here that might lead us to our next match. Tiger Crossroads. And we have a tiger, don't we? Yes, it's Nala right Nala here. Nala is right here. We're gonna go try to find Nala a match. Ooh. Whoa, is this our tiger? Does that count? No, no. Like the real the tiger. The real tiger, okay. What do you think, Nala? I think Nala wants a real tiger too. Nala likes to dance, sing, and party, and she has something else in common with me and with both my girls, and that is that Nala has a major sweet tooth. Maya, you don't have a sweet tooth, do you? No, not at all. You don't like candy or cookies or any of that stuff, do you? I like them. You do like them? Yeah. Just like Nala? <laughs> Where's the real thing though? We're having trouble seeing the tigers through the grass. They're far back in the distance napping, so we're gonna go outside and see if we can get a better viewpoint from the outside. I'm gonna look over here. Where's the tigers? Oh, it's, oh, it's way, way back, back there. there. I have my camera zoomed out as far as it can go, and you can see a little bit of a tiger out there. Now we can officially check Nala off the list because we found a real life tiger. Do you remember in the show, Nala has a baby tiger friend? What its name is? Its name is Tiggy. Tiggy! And there's Tiggy. How many more do we need now, Maya? Four. Four more. Whoa, there's an alligator. But we don't have any alligator cry baby magic tears, so back out to the zoo, hunt some more down. Oh look, here's a rhinoceros hornbill. I was excited for a split second because I saw the rhinoceros sign and I thought, oh perfect, we have Hopi here. Hopi has her rhino PGs on and I thought we had found a match, but it's not a real rhino. Yes. What'd you find? I found a lemur. All right, let's check them out. There's one right there and there's a couple more and they're kind of hiding behind all the branches. And here's Limu. And she's a fantastic composer and she knows everything about music and singers. She does. She loves her songs, her music. And one funny fact about Limu is that she likes to play her instruments all day long. Like all day long and it sometimes causes her neighbors to have to put earplugs in their ears because they can get a little bit annoyed. I see four lemurs now. There's a bunch of them. And that one's in the tree. And Limu actually has a little striped tail just like the real lemurs do here. To recap, we found Limu, Turgui, we found Nala, let's see who else, Kanga, and who's the other one? Oh, that's right, Lori. Let's take predictions, girls. Who do we think we're gonna find a match for next? 
Who do you think, Maya? Flippy. You think Flippy, the clownfish? Let's see, Addy, what do you think? Oh, I, you, Addy's got, you had the map out. Yes, I was looking to see which one was closest. And what do you think? So I'm either thinking Flippy or this one. Ooh, Gigi the giraffe, okay. Oh, I think both the girls' guesses might have been wrong because clouded leopard and red panda this way. We have a leopard, don't we, Addy? Yes. This is Leah the leopard. She is brave and courageous, but she can also be very chatty and can get easily distracted. It's dark in here. Here's where the clouded leopard is supposed to be, but the exhibit is closed. It says here on the sign that the animals are temporarily off of the exhibit. Oh, bummer. Well, we couldn't find Leah after all, so she doesn't count. We still have three more to go. What's over here, Maya? Porcupine, oh, no porcupine with us. Oh, now we're over by the monkeys. They're pretty cute. But we don't have a monkey to find, do we, Maya? Mm -hmm. Nope, so let's keep going. This way. Okay. You girls coming? <laughs> we have a hunt to do, girls. We gotta keep moving. Well, I feel like we're kind of walking in circles and we're not having much luck finding our next friend for our crybabies magic tears so we might have to pull up the map we've been pretty lucky so far we've just happened upon everything but it might be time to pull out the map girls okay fingers crossed we find flippy's friend in here Okay, here are the fish. They have hawkfish, blue tang, queen angel. Now, Flippy is a clownfish. And I'm not seeing any clownfish, but you know what, girls? What? I kind of think it's okay if we find a distant relative of Flippy, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be exactly a clownfish, but maybe a third cousin? I think that works. This one will be a third cousin. This one? All right, that's gonna be Flippy's third cousin. Addy, tell us something about Flippy. Well, she is very smart, but she is also very forgetful. Very true. And I'll just add that Flippy also loves to watch cartoons and play video games. All right, two more to go. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna hunt these down. I think we're gonna find a giraffe and a rhino next. Savannah Loop, that's where we're headed. Let's try this way. Oh, girls, I see a sign for a rhinoceros over here, which means they must be close. Southern white rhinoceros. Where's the rhino? Uh-oh. We didn't come all this way for the rhino not to be out. Where's the rhino, Addy? I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, wait. It's gotta be here somewhere. Let's see if we can get a better view over here. Come on, girls. Let's see if it's over here. I'm not leaving until I find this rhino. I'm hoping this will take us to another viewing area for the rhino. Hopey here is ready to find a friend. I think, oh, they're right here! <gasps> there they are! They are darling. They are so big too. Tell us something about Hopi, Maya. Hopi likes to tell stories and sing songs. She likes to make up songs too, doesn't she? And Hopi really likes to pretend that she is a hairdresser and try out all sorts of cute styles on all of her friends. Kind of like you, Addie. Yeah. You like to do things like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. You and Hopi have a lot in common. And here is her little friend, Poppy. And look, she's actually doing her hair. And now we've found how many girls, how many matches? Seven. Seven, which means we have one more to find. And we have half an hour, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're gonna go hunt down the giraffe now. And while we're hunting down Gigi's friends, I'll tell you a little bit about her. Her house is like a safari. There are trees everywhere. There are adventures for her to do. And Gigi really likes picnics. Are you leading us the right way, Maya? Yeah. Okay, you got your map out? Yes. Yeah. So we're right here and then we'll have to go all the way over here. Okay, I'm trusting you, girl. You found it, Maya. There's Gigi's buddy, a giraffe. Gosh, it's so tall. <laughs> They are ginormous. What do you think, girls? I think so cool. So. There we go, Gigi. Our giraffe friend has been found. And then if we pull our collector sheet again and look on the back, we see Gigi and her friend, her animal friend, is Gina, a little baby giraffe. And girls, how many did we find? Eight. eight! We found all eight of them, which means we completed our challenge. Now, I think we kind of twisted and blurred the rules a little bit. We found some distant relatives for Lori and Flippy, but you know what? I'm counting it done. We did this thing. 
Should we go play on the playground now? Yeah. All right, we're gonna take our Cardi B's magic tears and play on the playground. We're at the playground. Which friend are you gonna take play with you right now? Candy. I'm gonna take Lori. Candy and Lori. All right, you girls have fun. It's playtime now. Whether your favorite animal is a bunny, a tiger, or even a turtle, there is a crybaby for you because they're each dressed as their own unique animals. My girls clearly have their favorites. I wonder who your favorite is. I think Addie and Lori are coming down the giant slide now. <laughs> there they are. Where's Lori? You got her? Oh, and Candy too. Parents, if you loved the Crybabies Magic Tears that we were playing with today, they are currently available at Target, Amazon, Walmart.com, Walgreens, and various retailers nationwide. And parents, you can subscribe to the Crybabies YouTube channel to watch all of the cute videos that Addie and Maya currently are in love with. Thanks for watching, XOXO.